Yo, Evan, took me the bum bag. The what? Bum bag. What in that? That's a fanny pack. America, Great Britain, two titans of the modern world. Great allies with so much in common ish. As for the bum bag or fanny pack debate, well, this is a fanny pack. Oh, I know this is a bum bag, mate. But this friendship had a rather frosty beginning. The year was 1776, and the soon-to-be Americans had had enough of these tea-sipping Brits. Instead, they turned to Samuel Adams. No, the master brewer, the rebellion leader from Boston. The British were sent packing. Bye -bye. But the two BFFs were soon together again in no time. The two cultures, so similar, from fashion to music, and the love of very high-calorie diets. And that itself has spawned some big humans, too. And what a segue into our shared love of the world's strongest man. The world's strongest men competition. In fact, Britain and America, two of the strongest nations in the world, proven at the World's Strongest Man competition. Yes, 19 WSM titles and 10 of 23 World's Strongest Man winners shared between these two strong nations. But that's just the story of the men, as the women too have been battling it out. From the early successes of American Jill Mills to the rise of buff Britannias, Moore, Thompson and Roberts, a plethora of World's Strongest Woman titles have been hoovered up by these two nations. But all this success has left fans asking the question, which nation is strongest? And in 2022, we answered that. Um, <clears throat> Great Britain is the answer. Listen to the crowd erupt! In 2022, anyway, as Eddie the Beast Hall led his Bulldogs to the inaugural success. But Martin's Lissus is back. The world's strongest man winner of 2019 is captaining Team USA, and revenge is on their mind. As once again, the two nations march into battle. All that remains is to hand you over to our MC for this evening. Mr. Neil Hiccup. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MS Bank Arena in Liverpool, England. Welcome to Giants Live. Welcome, Spencer! Ladies and 
ladies and gentlemen, the beast, Eddie Hall. The beast, Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world's strongest nation. Welcome to Giants Live. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the MS Arena here in Liverpool, we are massively excited for this Giants Live event. This is different. We've seen strongman competitions in pairs. Seldom do you get a team event, and never do you get men and women competing together. This one feels Lars special. These guys are absolutely pumped. Yeah, everyone is super excited for this one. We're starting with the sandbag low, the sandbag steeplechase. 100 kilos for the ladies, 150 kilos for the gents. They're gonna load it over the steeplechase, load the sandbag on the platform at the end, sprint all the way back. As soon as they cross the line, the referee will take the split and the next athlete can go. Brutal event to start things off. Listen for the whistle now. So here we go. Here we go, and straight away Inez Carrasquillo shows why the US believe that she could be their secret weapon. Look at that from Inez Carrasquillo. Speed over the ground loss, very powerful. Rapidly fast first athlete for the Americans there. Andrea Thompson leading the charge for Team Great Britain, but Rob Kearney has already Sprint back started there. and is firing down the course man number two for Team USA. A lot of experience, Lawrence. And Rob absolutely sprinting back, but Big Gav now using those big long wings that he's got, eating up this course fast. Sprint back, Gav. Gavin Bilton trying to make up ground there. Gets over the line and taps in Lucy Underdown. Now we have Stowers. The under 82 kilo world champion making easy work of this sandbag. The speed of Stowers there. Little slip from Lucy. Just trying to recover. Not the easiest thing to do. Come on, Lucy, keep going. Sandbag. Kevin Ferris moving really, really quick as well. The Americans working well. Every single one of them efficient so far on these sandbags. Under down, tags in Felix. Erin is underway for the USA. And this is a fantastic start for the States. The Americans absolutely perfect on every single sandbag so far. Erin Murray straight on. Mark Felix showing us what he can do. In comes Spencer Remick for the US. Felix fighting that sandbag up there and then starts to charge back. The Americans in a good position now. The way for the US. All about not making any mistakes now. They're well ahead. Donna Moore rapid on this first half, straight over the steeplechase. Donna Moore. And here comes Carrasquillo right behind her. The secret weapon of the US, technically perfect there as Donna Moore makes up ground for Team Great Britain. Carrasquillo nails her second run. Former Europe's strongest man, manhandling this sandbag. Absolutely launches it over the steeplechase. But Evan Singleton, rapid as well. The Highland Oak was fast. The Highland Oak charges back down the course, tags in the giant figure of Rebecca Roberts. The Americans the there. USA have nailed this one to the boards. Let's keep cheering on Rebecca. World's strongest woman. Current Britain's strongest woman and showing what she's capable of there. Wow, big, big drive down. She taps in Tom Stoltman. Just on the lines, lost how fast the US were. They've already finished. The US team, absolutely brilliant. Tom, you need to sprint back, buddy. Tom Stoltman. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lauren Shockley is with the Dragon. Martins, Captain America, brilliant start there for your team. How do you feel the, the boys and girls performed? It's like I said, we're going to win it. <laughs> Well, there's a lot of talk from the Brits. Everyone's been saying they're going to win, but you guys have kind of put the foot down there on that first event. Yeah, we're not here to talk. 
I gotta go warm up because I'm doing the next event. You're gonna perform for us, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Who wants to see Martins Laces out with the next event? Let's go! Good luck, Team America. Ladies and gents, Liverpool, I'm here with the team captain for Great Britain, the Beast, Eddie Hall. Eddie, not the best start in the world, but you seem very unfazed. Very unfazed at this point. You've got the, uh, our best events to come. A few fumbles there, but I think hopefully we'll have to look at the times. As I say, I was trying to egg Tom on that last, even though we, were, we couldn't win, I was trying to get Tom to get that quickest time so we get a point. Um, but unfortunately, he stumbled a bit at the top there. So bad start for us, but we've got some really good events coming up. Now, obviously, your team last year won here in Liverpool. Do you think that puts additional pressure on you, mate? The US seem really fired up. Of course it does. You know, there's, uh, when you're on top of that mountain, there's always that extra pressure and obviously it makes the other competitors a little bit more hungry as well. So it all adds up. Ladies and gentlemen, the beast, Eddie Hall, and over to Colin Bryce and Radzi. It's uh, certainly not something these guys are used to working as a team, that's for sure. And on paper, I think you really had to say Team UK was a clear favourite, but that is, as Eddie Hall himself said, a bad start for the UK. And now they're playing catch-up. This is going to be fascinating. Evan Singleton, the fastest man of the entire pile, just ahead of Gavin Bilton. Luke Stoltman was third. Tom Stoltman fourth, my goodness. Three great performances from the Brits, uh, right at the very top there, but it wasn't good enough as a team. That means another point for Team USA. They will go 4-0 in the overall scores. Razzy, what are you thinking? Well, a few things to draw your attention to there. So straight off the bat, you've got Gavin Bilton, the heaviest man there, the second fastest. Think of the dynamism that is required to do that. Draw your eye to fifth and sixth as well. Inez Caras Kilo, not only the fastest female, she was the fastest female in both of her runs. What conditioning she has. And finally, a shout out to Nadia Stowers in 12th place there less than 82 kilograms she competes at I'm not sure what she's walking around at at the moment but what these guys are showing is they're not just strong laws they are incredibly athletic as well absolutely and the right tactics there from the US team putting Inez in twice and yeah it was the women really that put the performance in for the US team there and potentially laws could this change the strategy and the tactics for the next event well, potentially it could happen, but let's think back to last year. Farmer's Walk was the first event last year, and the UK team dominated this one. We have the likes of Mark Felix in the British team. That man's grip strength, and I believe he was the fastest last year as well. And, you know, we've got the addition of Tom Stoltman, world's strongest man twice, Luke Stoltman this year. We've got a very good team on the Farmers. I think this is going to be a better event for the UK team. On to the next event, the Farmer's Walk, Laws. How does this one go down, the farmer's walk? What are the rules and how do you see it going down? So again, team event this one. The women will be carrying 90 kilos in each hand. The men will be carrying 140 kilos in each hand. Very similar to the event we've just had. So it's the fastest combined time by a team. And still there is that point available for their fastest individual run as well. So even if a team is behind, it's important that they keep trying. Here we go. Listen the whistle from Darren Sadler. Here we go. We are on the way! Carrasquillo! And Thompson absolutely neck and neck, nothing to choose between these guys. The first put down and off again. Carrasquillo in red, Thompson in blue and laws. This is tight. It's a great race between our first two athletes. Gav Bilton and Spencer Remick both off. Spencer just ahead now. Picking up some distance on Gav Bilton. Fast turn, now keep it moving. Come on, guys. Spencer Remick of the USA. In front there being chased down by Gavin Bilton and Nadia Stowers. Will face London, Lucy Underdown. And you can see that Underdown is gaining ground remarkably. That's his stars and goals first for the turn round. Lucy Underdown needs to keep it together, keep her head on the game, and move all of the meters. The Dragon and the Highland North are all ready to go now. And you can see that Stoltman wants this badly as Lucy. 
it's all. Oh, the British team are ahead, but Martins List is motoring down this course. Luke Stockman, nice and fast, getting himself good distance ahead, ready for Donna Moore to take over. Martins List is flying back up. Donna Moore looking solid, and Aaron Murray is sprinting out the blocks. She is closing the distance. How quick can Donna Moore get up? Donna's off. Aaron making sure her grip is ready. This is getting closer now. Donna Aaron is eating up man. this course. Aaron Murray calls in a down And Aaron brings it into the lead with one of the best of the farmers to go. On the way we go, the fellas of the Albatross Tom Saltman is really pulling the hammer down. This is going to be so close, so tight. Kevin Tom Saltman motoring. It's just ahead! Whoa! Gabby Dixon, Rebecca Roberts, who wants it most. And Robert Rebecca is flying! Side. Look how fast these women are! Here we go, the last run for Roberts, and Roberts is starting to accelerate. Gabby Dixon, right there! Wow, this is a race! We're on to Evan Singleton and Mark Felix! Evan is running down this course. Mark Felix a little bit all over the place, but that grip is still holding out. Evan Singleton, solid and compact. Look Evan down. looking confident. And the American team across the line first. Mark Felix. Let's finish. Come on, Mark. There we go. What a race there from both teams, but the Americans taking event number two. All about the T-Rex, Evan Singleton absolutely hammered that one. And Singleton powers over the line. The T-Rex stamping his authority. Evan, last year the British team took this competition pretty comfortably, but there was no T-Rex last year. Two events down, you had the fastest time on the sandbag. I believe watching that you had the fastest time on the farmer's walk as well. You are here, you mean business. I didn't come here to lose, that's for sure. Bring in the energy, bring in the heat, and bring in the title back home. Yeah. Go and get yourself ready for the next one. Brilliant performance there from America's Evan Singleton. Wow. Evan Singleton, number one at the top of the pile, 18.1 seconds. And Evan Singleton therefore gets the one point for Team USA. It is 8-0 to America. Tom Stoltman doing the second fastest time. Luke on the third. The Stoltman brothers are on fire. Rebecca Roberts was the highest of the women, 20.87. Uh, right now, 8-0 the score. And uh, it is Team USA and Martin Zalissis who are leading the way. So let's see what happens. I shall hand you over to Mr. Neil Pickup as we begin event three, the deadlift. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, deadlift representing Team Great Britain. Please raise it up for Andrea Thompson. And on platform number two, this lady is buzzing and she is representing the United States of America. Raise it up for Gabby. Listen for the whistle from Darren Sadler to start things off. Big, fast first pull from both girls, no hesitation. The second looks smooth and easy as well as you would expect. But when this thing thins out, lost, who do you fancy here for the win? Well, Andrea's a fantastic deadlifter, as is Gabby. But Andrea has Lucy coming up next, and she'll want to put the team into a solid start. Some great deadlifters on the men's side for the Americans. So the women really need to push hard, get as many reps as possible. Abby Dixon looking rock strong, and there's a real edge about Dixon. Really aggressively attacking each individual lift, and Thompson called it back, only to see Dixon fast off the floor for another lift and hits double figures. Also, 
We've got eight reps and ten reps so far. Just to tell everybody the situation and the side of the platforms here, you will notice that we've got running totals. That will be the total for the team. Gabby Dixon, first blood for the United States of America. And I'm going to check in with Gabby. Now, you started very quickly there. Um, I was speaking to Lauren Charlie. We thought you might slow down, but no, no, not at all. You seem to get faster. I do like rep work. I do like it. It's one of my favorite things, and it's got to control your breath. Now, everybody in the arena is remembering the Hercules hold last year. Today, a little different. The wrecking ball, and you can hear oh, what they thought of it. Today, the wrecking ball. Are we going to see something else special from Gabby Dixon? It's going to be special for me too. We'll see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, Team USA's own Gabby Dixon. Team USA on top of the world right now. But Team UK are about to roll out the heavyweights. Lucy Underdown is, quite frankly, the greatest female deadlifter there has ever been. Arguably the greatest deadlifter ever. When you look at what her lead is in terms of the next best deadlifter ever. She's nearly 30 kilos ahead of the world. So she is an absolute titan of deadlifting. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, representing the UK, Lucy Underdown. And for Team USA on platform number two, raise it up and give a round of applause for Nadia Sauer. We are on the way and Lucy Underdown hits the first one with immoral disrespect. Smashes out another one was and getting into a groove. Yeah, I mean, Nadia's a fantastic deadlifter, but Lucy is just on another planet when it comes to deadlifting. This is her favourite event. She knows she needs to get her team back into this. There is a lot of pressure on the UK team. They're putting it on to the deadlift record holder, and she is stepping up to the case. 18 the UK total so far. Nadia squeezes the Americans to 16. Now, truly incredible effort. We've seen Lucy in the past keep a little bit in the tank, but no, not tonight. She will push it till the wheels fall off because it's a cumulative total that matters. And under now, he's going to the red line loss. 13 individual reps so far, bringing the team total to 21. Can't quite get to 22. Unbelievable effort. What can you say about that? You were so close to nailing that next rep, and that's after the brutal start to tonight's event. Are you happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. I knew it. There is a lot of pressure on me in this event just to help the team out. We really want this. We do want to win. And we've just been a bit unfortunate. So. Hopefully that's enough to keep us in the lead and keep the men at bay and hopefully secure full points on this event. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucy Underdown with an unbelievable effort here. 12, 13 repetitions, excuse me, on the deadlift. Ladies and gentlemen, first sleep lifting on platform number one, representing Great Britain. Raise it up and come in. And on platform number two, he hails from and is representing the United States of America. Raise it up for Rob Kill! Adding that weight of support, here we go. Built a fast off the floor and smooth as silk with the first one. Slight adjustment and Kearney hits the second half. Powerful reps by Gav Bilton. Rob Kearney using that pitch style that he's so effective at. 
very efficient lifter Rob Geary technical and efficient he uses every ounce of that smaller frame very very well he's, he's mastered that movement but Gav just more traditional pulling through the glutes locks out his fourth rip and that is enough to keep the UK in a good lead Gav wants to do one more for the UK team. You can hear the Eddie ball Hall cheering him on. Luke Stoltman cheering him on. Gavin, the ball built and tries to hit that last one. Not tonight. And you can see on the overhead now, Gavin really dug in hard on those, mate. Every single rep counting so much. And you look at yourself and you look at Rob, people may underestimate just how good Rob Kearney is. He really is a phenomenally efficient lifter. Uh, yeah, Rob Kearney, um, a brilliant, phenomenal athlete. Super humble guy, um, super tough to go against, but I'm happy with that. Now, so many times we see you come out here, mate, and you look like you've got a certain number in you, and then this place, shows how much you mean to them as an athlete and you find something else. Yeah, this, uh, these are the best crowds in the world. They definitely help us all. And I appreciate and love absolutely everyone. Of you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Gavin the Bull Bilton. And if you look, as we see Bilton roar in his authority on the big screen, our next lifters have ridiculous pedigree. Let's introduce our athletes to you one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, lifting on platform number one is this young man. He towers at six feet eight inches tall and is the two-time world's strongest man. Raise it up for the Albatross. Platform number two, look upon the aggressive phenom from the USA, the T-Rex, Evan Singleton. Here we go. The last head-to-head -head here in the deadlift. On the way we go. First pull hard, and Stoltman is right there with the Rex Laws. It's warming up. Yeah, Tom's in a great position. He knows what he needs to do just to stay ahead. And actually, that's a smart move from Evan Singleton there. He could have killed himself to try and beat Tom, but he wasn't going to get the team win. Tom Stoltman doing what he needs to do. Lucy winning that one for the UK team. Right, we've got the two-time world's strongest man, Tom Stoltman, with us. Now, I've got to say, yeah, give him a cheer. Right, firstly, I know these guys are all really excited that you and your brother are here this year. Had to miss out last year. You knew what you needed to do there. Evan was in an extremely difficult situation. To go against someone like yourself, you're a very good deadlifter. He would have had to go way beyond the world record. And really, it was thanks to Lucy's performance. I mean, 13 individual reps that she did. It must be good having a teammate like that. Yeah, I told Lucy to go. I, I, I got asked to deadlift this morning and, uh, you know, no suit, no problem. It's okay, so. No suit for the big man there. No suit for Lucy as well. Just pointing that out to anyone that's lifted with a suit. It definitely helps. So, you got some points back on the board for Team UK. Can you guys push and get yourselves winning today? Yeah, 100%. I think we got that extra point as well with Lucy doing that and trekking ball next, uh, dumbbell next, so it should be fun. Huh? Good luck, Tom. Great to see you perform mate. The big screen, and at the moment, the biggest of the deadlifters, Lucy Underdown, 13 repetitions. So, Lucy gets the bonus point overall on points then the first four points for the brits so we now go on to the dumbbell we have an update he's playing the joker card dun 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 <laughs> so this means double points 
for the dumbbell. Double points for USA. He's playing it early doors. I'm surprised. This is interesting. I didn't think the US were that good at dumbbell pressing. This is massive. Laws, what is, what is this all about? And, and are you shocked that Martins has come out here and played the Joker? You won't be surprised to hear I'm not shocked. The um, American team have some great dumbbell pressers, starting with Nadia Stowers, who is the American record holder in the dumbbell. So it doesn't surprise me that they've put this one out there. Again, you know, the, the whole team has to work together. It's about total reps, not just one individual performance. Is there an element of courage with this? Because it's one thing shoulder pressing, but actually getting your body underneath and locking it when it's not stable, it's impressive. It's one of those events that if you know it's not going and you mistime it, you're getting out of the way as quick as possible because it's not like a log where you can kind of press it out. You want to make it nice, fast and sharp, get it up straight away. If it comes out of line, you want to move because you do not want that thing hitting your head. I have experience of that, it's not fun. We do not want to see that, but what we do want to see is the athletes get underway. So let's bring out our next athletes for the incredible Dumbbell Press. Firstly, on platform number one, welcome Donna Moore. And on platform number two, representing the USA, Ned Kaliski. and Doma, listen for the whistle. Circus Dumbbell Press, who sponsored. On a more setting herself and hits the first one, gets the down signal, as does Carasquillo and more. And Carasquillo onto the second loss. Carasquillo using both hands as well. It's not something we see that often. Donna, efficient, focusing on the right arm. Can she lock out? Girls hitting that third repetition, Carisquillo is up for the fourth and struggle with that one, but gets it. Mag, the harshest of referees, but gives that. Four and five reps, five reps for Team America, four for the UK. Very competitive right now. Inez Carisquillo of the USA. This time's out a little, as does more, and the fatigue starting to kick in now. Both girls showing that tenacity, but time is against them, and it's kind of steel with the win. Good battle there, very close, four reps and five reps. Just looking at the overhead there, ladies and gents, you can see what was a phenomenal battle there. It was Inez Carasquillo with the win, and she is with Lauren Shockley. In his great start for the team there, five repetitions. I just heard you saying though, you found that dumbbell quite awkward compared to what you're used to training on. Yeah, the dumbbell at home is a lot bigger than this one. Still, it's a globe shape, um, but that one's pretty small. Still, very good start. You've got a good teammate going now. How do you think Nadia can do on this? We're winning. <laughs> <laughs> well done, good performance. Thank you. I am with the mighty three-time world's strongest woman. Donna Moore. Now, Donna Moore, you always tell me, oh, I don't like this event. What's going on? Um, it worked out pretty well. I was um, thinking that Inez was going to get quite a lot more reps than me, so just to be beaten by one, I'm really, really happy with that tonight. And like she said, it's quite an awkward dumbbell, so it was a learning curve up for a minute. No. We saw the difference in style and technique. Inez using both arms, you tending to focus on that one side. How much more difficult does that make it? Um, I'm just better at this side. And great to Inez that she can use both arms, but um, that's not for me. Ladies and gentlemen, Donna Moore. Tremendous effort, four, and the UK are still right in the game. On platform number one, this girl is representing the UK. Team GB's own, Andrea. Tongs. And we saw this girl suppressing strength last year. It was so very impressive. Representing the USA, raise it up for Nadia Stowell. Only one repetition separates the teams right now. Listen to the whistle. Thompson in blue. Nadia Stowers. 
of the US and a great start from Andrea there was. Both ladies starting very strong. Andrea making easy work of this dumbbell. Nadia very efficient getting the dumbbell back up to her shoulder. You have to make sure that hand is removed. Lots better from Andrea and that was a champion's response. Andrea needs to give the men a chance on this one if she can get a few reps more. Put some pressure on Team America. Nadia and Andrea take the team totals to nine. This is close. Andrea Thompson really battling down now. You can hear the crowd react. Whoa! Andrea Thompson edges in front. Nadia trying to fight on. And that is a fabulous performance from Andrea Thompson. Wow! Absolutely rock strong. We'll take a breather and catch a word with Andrea. She can have a little look at her happy work on the big screen. Andrea Thompson. Talk about turning on when it mattered. That was phenomenal. Yeah, a little bit of a. <laughs> a little bit of a, a worried moment. Um, I tried to, to hand it up. Just lost a bit of balance, really, but. It's one of my favourite events, if I have like a dodgy arm, but I'm glad to have brought the points back up a little bit, so... Could there be an upset on the cards? What do you think? Yeah, for sure. Who got it? Ladies and gentlemen, Andrea Thompson. Putting Team GB in the mix. Nadia, it's great to have you back over in the UK. You did amazing last year on the log. Dumbbell this year, you are the American log, uh, dumbbell record holder. Log record holder, I believe, or you were, yeah. Certainly for the under 82 kilo class. I know Ines said that dumbbell was tricky. You, you, you kind of say in the same walking away then. Oh yeah, that dumbbell, the grip is, it feels like it's a little smaller. So it was really actually smashing my thumbs. So trying to save it was tough, but once it was up, I determined not to put it down. Good stuff. How do you think the boys can do? You've got some strong dumbbell presses on the male side. Do you think they can do enough to take the win? Oh, I believe so, because we just watched Rob do an amazing dumbbell ladder, so I'm excited to see these reps today. Let's see how he does. Well done, Nadia. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The Highlander! Stoltman! representing the United States of America. Raise it up for Rob Kearney. Here we go. This should be a battle. Two fantastic dumbbell presses here. Very easy on the first one for both men. Massive shoulder strength from Luke the Highland Oak Stoltman and we see that efficiency again from Kearney Laws. He's such a professional lifter. He is, both of them making the press look easy but Luke is a little more efficient getting the dumbbell up to the shoulder at the moment. He's keeping that one rep advantage, although I say that and Rob is closing back in. Oh, easy power there from Luke Stoltman. That was an excellent lift, really efficient from Stoltman and if he can keep in front as Kearney hits that next repetition and so does the Highland Oak. This is excellent. Kearney battling that dumbbell up. It's quite a, a visual there. Kearney not the biggest man. And look at the size of that dumbbell. So explosive is Rob. One of the best overhead pressers in the world. Former American record holder. And he gave it everything there. But Luke Stoltman maintained the lead for Team UK. Rob, I've been bigging up your dumbbell beforehand. Great performance there. But Luke managed to match you and maintain that one point for the Team UK. Are you happy with your performance though? Yes and no. Uh, I'm a little bit frustrated. I think I could have had more control bringing it down. Sorry, I'm out of breath and fat. Um, so it would have been a little bit better. If my transitions were cleaner. I might have been able to get that extra rep. But you know, six reps isn't bad at 100. Six reps in fantasy. Just a question I want to ask. Do you feel that pressure, knowing that you can have one rep behind? Are you feeling that pressure that you're trying to push maybe a little bit too hard to get that rep back? 
Yeah, I think that was definitely it, you know, especially playing the Joker card on this event. We want to get the win on this, so, you know, I think I'm out of rust the first rep a little bit, but I have a lot of confidence Evan can come in, set the tone, make up that rep and win this event for us. Good luck, buddy. Great performance. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with Luke Stoltman, the Highland Oak mate. We saw an excellent performance from all Team GB there, and you kept that train rolling. You had a real focus about you there. Yeah, man, it's, uh, it's nice to compete. So I was quite happy with that. Um, the last rep was a little bit sticky, managed to pop it. So, yeah, strength is still there in the old bagger then. Now, the Joker card was played here by the US. Is there any chance that it backfires? We got Gavin the Bull Bilton. Can he overturn the potentially nailed on favourite in Singleton? Um, I mean, Gavin's just a beast. Look at the size of the guy, man. He's huge. So, yeah, Gavin will smash it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Highland Oak, Luke Stoltman for Team GB. Let's check in the mighty Boo Gavin Bilta! Representing the United States of America. Look upon the T Rex, Evan Singleton. Here we go. Bilton hits the first repetition, Singleton onto his second, and that is smooth also. It's Bilton with the second, T-Rex with the third, and we are tied. Very efficient lift there, Lawrence, from the T-Rex, but Bilton T equal to it. Evan T-Rex looking really solid. Gav methodical making sure he gets everything in the right position before he presses he knows he can't make a mistake and Evan just stretches into the lead now 21 22 reps for team America Gav on 19 for team UK and the Americans Singleton. take the win looks across at Gavin Bilton and calls it on Bilton. Not rising to it at all on the ball. We'll come across here and just check in with the winner, Evan, the T-Rex Singleton with the win. Singleton with the win. You can see on the overhead, he's showing the crowd the belt, Rex. Evan, Joker card was played, it adds that layer of pressure. You didn't show it. I didn't feel any pressure. I knew what was going to happen before I stepped on this platform. Now, throughout the lifts, you remained efficient. It didn't seem like you got out of second gear. You had some in the tank, you stopped, and you looked straight across at Gavin Bilton, just trying to play those mental games a little. Mental games, nothing. I won, he knew I was going to win, and I wanted to rub it in his face. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear from the team captain from the United States of America, Martins Lises. Hey, you guys keep booing, you're just fueling us. So thank you. Now, Ma the more you boo me, the harder I'm gonna go, and the more we're gonna do! I love it, keep going. Ladies and gentlemen, Lises and Singleton. 
I think Lauren Charley is going to check in with Gavin Bilton. Gav, that was a solid performance, but we know how good Evan is on the dumbbell. I know you're looking forward to some events that we have coming up, particularly the tug of war. Are you going to get your own back on the American? Yeah, definitely. He might have won that one, but he's a bum. Um, we're the people's champs. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, he's a great athlete. Um, we've got a few great events to come. The day isn't over. Every British athlete here will go out on their shield. Uh, they proved that time and time again. Um, we're here for the win. Who wants to see Big Gav take the win today? Go and get yourself ready, buddy. Well done. Let's just have a little look at the scores then, see where we are at. And Evan Singleton, the big dog on top. Seven repetitions, and that is one more point for Team USA in the dumbbell press. Andrea Thompson, the injured Andrea Thompson, putting in a sterling performance for the UK against Rob Kearney there, also on six. So too Luke Stoltman. Well, well done to all the guys for uh, putting in a solid performance, but Team USA come out on top again. Captain Martin Slissus playing a very wise joker card. Not just three, but six points for his team. That takes them to 14, one extra bonus point. Evan Singleton, well, in the end, it's 15 to four at the moment. Two more events before the big final. It's gonna be the hold. This enormous bell, which weighs 260 kilos of metal. There is a lot on this, but the ladies look like they are ready and raring to go. As the very first time the women have taken part in this event, this one is gonna be fascinating. Representing Team Great Britain, raise it up for Lucy Upton. <laughs> And representing Team USA, so impressive last year, it's Gabby Dixon. Here we go. Who will rise? Who will take up the challenge now? There is the whistle. Both ladies up, no problem. Oh. Unfortunately, that means Gabby has Gabby. to go down to the ref. Hit the ground there. Gabby Dunn. Gabby, unfortunately, it was called. Lucy Umber now locked in as Rob Sawyer. This is important now for Lucy. Needs to retain that focus and make this count. This is huge by Lucy. Trying to put a mind elsewhere and just focus on the task in hand. And Lucy Underdown starting to feel it there, but kicking in and digging in. Wow! Dixon cheering her on. And that is lovely to see. I don't know whether you guys caught that up there, but Gabby Dixon was cheering on Lucy Underdown. That's lovely, isn't it? Just looking up at the big screen, Gabby. Little loss of balance there. And Obviously, that's an incredibly difficult thing to recover. What exactly happened? Were you just trying to move your position back? I, I think that the, maybe the ball was swaying a little bit, and it kind of threw me forward. I, I don't know. It didn't happen earlier today, but that was what happened today. Potentially, was it the speed of the pickup? Because you came quite quick up in the air, and it maybe got a little bit of a... Yeah, I was probably picking it up more like a deadlift, and that was probably my first mistake. I should have been a little more smooth and slow with it. And what was really lovely there was at the end when you were cheering on Lucy Underdown. No, Lucy's my homie. Like, I'm so proud of her. She killed that. Ladies and gentlemen, what about Gabby Dixon? Love this girl. Lauren Shockley is going to check in with Lucy Underdown. Firstly, wow. 46 seconds there. I was talking backstage about this event and just watching it. It's not easy to just like fully get locked out. And I've tried that with implements before and it just constantly keeps that pressure on your back. What was worse, the back or the grip? Um, all of it. It was horrible. Like, I've never done anything like this before. I've never really had to test my grip. So it was nice to be able to do that, especially after the deadlifts, I was feeling it. So I just wanted to get a good time and hopefully we can continue this momentum. Let's, let's go. Come on.
Well, 46 seconds there for Lucy. I think that's a fantastic time. I hope it holds up for you. Well done. Thank you so much. Thanks for all the support. You've been amazing. <laughs> She's representing Team Great Britain. And you know you're going to make some noise for Rebecca Roberts! On 40 kilos of her, and on platform number two, she is representing the United States of America. Raise it up for Nadia Stauer! Here we go. Nice smooth pickup required, and both girls learning from that one. So much further to go for Rebecca Roberts, such a tall girl. And you can see Nadia Stowers already feeling it a little there. Much smaller lady, not an easy task at all, Lawrence Shockley. Yeah, you can see how high Rebecca has had to lift that globe. Both athletes now digging in deep, fighting for every second. The bodies are shaking, the grip is hurting, the backs are in agony, but they're fighting on for their nations. Nadia Stowers and Rebecca Roberts, who wants it more? Needing to put their minds somewhere else and dig in. Do it with every fibre of the being. Stowers is down for Team USA. Roberts is Crowd still erupting. Going. Rebecca still going strong. Yes! Rebecca Roberts toughs it out. And Rebecca, great effort there. Big time on the board. Nadia Stowers was also extremely impressive. And now look on the big screen, ladies and gentlemen, and you will see the tenacious, determined Nadia Stowers. She got 46 01 on there. First time. We've seen you on this equipment. Was that really the first time you got a proper go at this thing? Yeah, uh, we don't have wrecking ball in the States, so I just watched the videos and trusted my grip. So. And, and how difficult is it? How awkward is that piece of equipment, Nadia? It's not so much awkward as it's just dealing with once you're set, don't move. So that's the hardest part, just like Vatican almost. So being still to me was the hardest part. Now, it seemed like you got control of the weight easy and it wasn't really a weight problem, but it looked like you were experiencing a lot of pain from sort of 20 seconds on. Um, it was more just in the hands, like if uh, you kind of look here, it almost wanted to tear. So just my hands and the more I felt it slip, the more I was squeezing. So that's where the shaking kind of came in. Unbelievable effort. Ladies and gentlemen, Nadia Stowers of the USA. Lauren Shockley is going to catch up with Rebecca Roberts. Uh, you deserve that round of applause, Rebecca. 57 seconds holding on to that 260 kilos. You had to lift it so high to start with. You're already tired from all the other events. Talk me through that. What's going through your mind? How's the body feeling during? Um, the body was feeling good. Um, I was a little bit nervous about having to do the same weight as the men, but I wanted to come out and show how strong as women can be, that we can do the same thing as the men. We can put in performances like this and uh, I was really happy with that time you should be you're kind of like just defying what should be possible every time we see you compete you just go to another level you, yourself all the other girls as well it's incredible watching well done thank you ladies and gentlemen Rebecca Roberts 57 47 is the time for the giant from Wales Ladies and gentlemen, Gavin Bilton representing Team Great Britain in lane number one. And on platform number two is Kevin Fares of the USA, head to head on the wrecking ball hold. This one could be thunder and lightning. Listen for the whistle. Both men synchronized on the pickup. And Kevin Fair is trying to uh, adjust his position a little bit there and locks himself solid now. Gavin Bilton is trying to put himself into a happy place and shut out the noise, Loz. Let's remember 57 seconds by Rebecca Roberts. 
is the longest time so far. Kevin has one of the best grips on the planet. Gav is digging deep, fighting for every second. There's still a point available for the longest individual time as well. So each athlete wants to keep fighting. We said on the introductions earlier today that Kevin Fairs is always the guy that tries to create the upset. He would love to do it here as Gavin Bilton starts to dig in. Kevin Fairs looks across at the bull and tries to apply the psych out. Look at that confident look across from Kevin. He is holding on tight. Gav, given everything as always, such a battler. But Kevin is rock solid with that globe. His grip is like a vice. What time can he do? Fairs solid as rock and really digging in hard there the man from the usa this is a phenomenal effort and he's trying to put his mind elsewhere as the i think he, he's gone in. over the individual world record on this event still holding out now kevin pushing to a new record stretching it fighting for every second to bring the american team back into this event his back is giving out, the legs are giving out, but the grip holds strong. How much has he got? Wow! Believable effort from Kevin Fares. Every major muscle group in his body had ceased to exist. But the hands, oh no, not the hands, they remain steadfast. Kevin. That was truly something to behold. But we saw every single major muscle group in your body begin to fail. But the grip was locked and was going nowhere. Honestly, I could have held it even longer, but my back was toast. <laughs> At what point did it start to get really difficult? Because you masked it incredibly well. Uh, Martins called out about 90, and that start, that's when it started kind of giving out. But. It felt solid, it felt great. Felt like I really dialed it in. So, yeah, let's see what Evan can do. Keep this going. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kevin Fares. Incredible effort. 153, as Loss said there, new world record individual time. And what a great time to do it. So just to make everyone clear, there is half of a tenth of a second between both teams. So the winner of this event between these two men will take the win for the team. That's how important this one is. The miracle man, Mark Felix, known for that unbelievable grip strength. He is on lifting platform number one. And on platform number two, representing the United States of America, is the T-Rex Evan Singleton. An absolutely phenomenal head-to-head -head here, and we are underway. We know how good Mark Felix is when it comes to grip, but the American on the side of him, it has a fantastic grip as well. We could be in for one hell of a battle here. Very Who wants it more? Different approach to the sport. Mark Felix, despite his unbelievable power, you shake hands with this guy, he's gentle and considered. You shake hands with T-Rex, your goddamn shoelaces tighten. The man puts it on you, he is here to try to win and it will be a fascinating contest as this thing gets into the late times. Just look at the focus on both faces. Mark Felix just looking straight ahead. Evan Singleton blocking everything out, going to his happy place. Evan showing some signs of fatigue now. The weight is fighting back. What starts to bear down on you, and Singleton is struggling a little there. But Felix looks Both athletes strong. feeling it, fighting hard. Evan is going. Can Mark hold out? It's close. Effort. And Mark Felix, Felix does it. Going. Team UK. Evan and Mark Singleton wants more. hits the deck. 
and Felix the Miracle Man brings the Liverpool Arena Mark, to going. its feet and he is starting to accelerate <laughs> Wow! We will look at the times Felix delivers the MNS Bank Arena goes nuts Ladies and gentlemen, look at that! Mark Felix, 57 years of age, and my man still looks like he was carved out of Zeus's tooth. Absolutely phenomenal physique from this phenomenal athlete, Felix slow and steady but oh so very effective I'm with Evan Singleton here and for once we even see you giving a little bit of respect to your opponent over there these guys are booing but even you know how impressive that was by Mark Felix I'm gonna start by giving nothing but respect to Mark Felix. They call him the miracle for a reason, and we just saw why. That being said, your teammate there did unbelievably well and broke the world record. 100, uh, sort of 1.52 seconds. Unbelievable time. What have you got to say about Kevin? I love Kevin. He's, he's big things in small packages personified. <laughs> Nah, I knew he was going to come out here. He was going to do absolutely amazing. His grip's phenomenal. His endurance is through the roof. I knew he was going to be a real force in this event. You're doing amazing yourself today. The competition's getting a bit closer. Can the Brits catch you, or are you guys going to stretch away and win? Well, that was the second thing that I wanted to say. I've got multiple event wins over you buck-tooth red coats. So... That lead that the U.S. has over you isn't going anywhere. Evan Single, everybody. <laughs> well, you could see on the big screen there, Evan shaking his hands out while the man that stood at the side of me here was just enjoying the show. Now, Mark, are you aware that he dropped the wrecking ball or were you just too focused? I was aware, but I, didn't, I wasn't paying any mind to him. But, you know, I know once, once I beat him, we got, we got a lead. Well, my grip didn't give out. I just start shaking and I kind of go back a bit and that's when I drop it. Ladies and gentlemen, show how much you love Mr. Mark Felix. You can see a shot of Mark there, Eddie, and uh, I'll tell you what, what would you pay to be built like that at 57 years of age? Uh, you'd, you'd sell your house, wouldn't you, to look like that at 57? Imagine having that as your granddad, eh? <laughs> now, Eddie, back on to the serious business here. Amazing start for Team USA, but slowly, steadily, starting to claw things back a little bit. Is there a dramatic upset victory coming for Team UK? There's not, it's not going to be dramatic, we're going to win. Um, <laughs> Team USA have done good, you know, but this, this heat stuff, the, these first six events don't matter. It's who wins the seventh event overall. And they've done a good job, you know, they, they've, it's pretty neck and neck in the minute. And I think we're going to bring it back even more with this tug of war now. So, uh, yeah, team, team UK for the win. Ladies and gentlemen, team captain Eddie the Beast Hall remains confident. Can the Brits pull this back? Look at that, Kevin Ferris, the new king of hold. What a performance. Mark Felix always in with a shout. 97 seconds. So Team UK gained three more points. 16 to 7 for our current situation going into the tug of war. Colin, just being told here that uh, Eddie Hall has decided to play the Joker. That means double points were to happen. So, ladies and gentlemen, are we ready for the tug of war? 
Let me hand you back to Mr. Neil Pickup. Keep your eyes on that middle marker. We are on the way, ladies and gentlemen, and then right away, Team Great Britain pulling hard off centre. Need to stay with that and driving hard, maintaining the power, and need to get the timing down. There's the drive again, and almost there, but need to stay relaxed. And there is the first win for Team Great Britain. Victory there to Team UK, one point so far. With the Joker card, it's a guaranteed two from the women. Well done, women. Now, the turn of the men. It is sheer size and power against the most determined US team I have seen. Here we go. Get this string. Back a bit, don't we? On the whistle. We are on the way, and Team UK go immediately on the offence, and at least it's losing grip there. The British the team with that body down. weight, just getting the advantage. Luke Stormer looking confident, but the Americans are fighting back. The Brits need this one. Keep fighting. Look at Martins, this is digging in, his teammates working hard. Getting closer and closer. And it's a win yeah. for Team UK. Wow. Right. Team USA. Don't forget, with all of their size, they will tire. Team USA, you're going to need one almighty effort here. The third and final go. Here we go. Team UK pulling themselves back into this competition. The final event. Whichever team is in the lead gets a time advantage. So it could be very, very close after this. Two rounds for Team UK. Can they take the third? Take the straight. Straight. And we're underway. He Let's start with a round of applause for Team USA. And the victors who played their joker card. Six points to Team UK! Emphatic win. Gavin Bilton's with us at the moment. Gavin, it was a really convincing three rounds from Team GB. Yeah, like I said, a bit of a rough start, but... Um, the Brits have shown how tough we are. The eight to win, I think we're leading. Uh, we've got a pretty good event coming up for all of us with the height and the power. So, like I said at the beginning, we hit the win. It will be two times World's Strongest Nation, trust me. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from the ball, Gavin Pilton. We're going to see the scores come up on that screen in just a moment, and it will be interesting. Joker was played, double points there, six points for the UK. 16 points, Team USA, 13 points for Eddie Hall's Team UK. It's tight, Lawrence, and the power stairs to go. Yeah, Team UK have pulled themselves right back into this contest. They're going to be giving up a one and a half second disadvantage, which it's not too much. They can catch that up for sure. Power stairs will decide World's Strongest Nation 2023. So, we have five implements, up the steps, and we will have our winners. Ladies and gentlemen, firstly, in lane number one, is Team USA! And in lane number two, dressed in blue, ladies and gentlemen, Team UK! Here we go 
on the way we go and there is the second whistle and it is on Bilton and fair start us off Kevin and Gavin will want to try to make the best possible this start. is close and both men up there very very fast from Kevin Fair's Donald Aaron Moore. Murray lightning quick to the implement moving really well up the first step Just a little mistake on this top one gets it though Donna's got work to do needs to make sure she gets every single step right the American captain now coming with 250 kilos straight up on that first step fast on the second he is maintaining his lead Luke Stoltman needs to be quick come on Luke keep it going Luke Stoltman trying to keep his head together there as Ines Carrasquillo. Yep. Little fumble Stay from Ines, Ines there. Will that let Rebecca Roberts back in? Rebecca, so good at this event. But Evan Singleton is already Evan out of the Evan is blocks. on to the last one. All he needs to do is get this up and Team America are going to take the win. And they do! Team America! the world's strongest nation 2023 <laughs> ladies and gentlemen put your hands together for the winners the world's strongest nation team usa and please be upstanding for tonight's second place in a great battle, Team UK! Tell us a few words, Martins. You said last year you, you've never actually done team sports before. You weren't even sure how to be a captain. I have to say you've grown unbelievably into the role, Martins, and I think all of your team have benefited from it. Well done to Team USA tonight. Tell us a few words about the team you had to go up against, the team you looked after. I mean, I said some stuff very confidently, but the truth is, Team UK is formidable. We all knew that. We could not mess up anywhere. We had to get every single inch over them we could. And we did just that. I'm very lucky to be working alongside these people right here behind me and next to me. The best team I could ask for. And also the best crowd I could ask for. Nobody does strong men like the UK. Thank you so much for supporting my favorite sport. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much. Eddie Hall, it was certainly a valiant effort. Any, anything went wrong in your mind? One or two slip ups, but I think it was a solid performance from the team. I mean, fair play to USA. They did fantastic. You know, they performed where it counted. They are a tough side, the Americans. That's Singleton, by the way. You know what? It smells like. Whatever, okay. Anyway. Ed, you enjoyed yourself? Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. It's always great. These team events are fun. We've been a great crowd, and from, the, from me and my team, and uh, Team UK, we really want to thank you all for showing up and showing the support. We mean so much to us guys, it really does. So thank you, everybody here tonight. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your runners-up in the world's strongest nation 2023, Team UK! your winners a new world's strongest nation 2023